what is going on, people. I'm going to stray away from my 31 Days Half October series because the people over at RLJ Entertainment were nice enough to send me over a movie that comes out tomorrow. I'm pretty much guessing everywhere. And the movie I'm reviewing, if you couldn't tell by the title, is called Bushwick. Yes, Bushwick is directed by Kerry Murnian, who I'm, I'm going to tell you most of these names are probably destroy but i'm gonna try it's also directed by jonathan millet it's uh written by nick uh demichi and graham resnick uh it stars dave batista britney snow and arturo castro among many others um this is a little far from the pitch perfect movie that britney snow's in but pretty much what this is is a modern day civil war i guess you want to call it um Brittany Snow's character kind of finds herself in the middle of Bushwick, New York, and all hell's breaking loose. No one knows what's going on. She finds herself alone, and then until she runs into Dave Batista's character, who pretty much saves her. Now, they're on their way to a safety spot that they have to get to, and throughout the movie, they find out what's going on, what why it's going on and all this stuff, you find out that Texas decided to secede from uh, the rest of the U.S. and they wanted to start a civil war to do so. They're going to uh, take over a bunch of places just so they can have their own, their own place without government, without being told what to do. And this is what they decided to do. At first, it was just going to be a friendly takeover kind of deal. They were going to just come in with guns, not hurt anybody, and kind of just take it over. And from their research and all this, they thought that no one was going to have guns, nothing was going to happen. Well, their plan backfired, and now it became into a crazy, crazy mess of shooting and running and looting and all this stuff. So throughout that, Dave Batista and Brittany Snow's character are pretty much trying to just get out, find out how to get out, and, and pretty much just survive. Well, different things happen, different characters come into play. I don't want to go into it because, of course, like I said, it does come out tomorrow, so I don't want to spoil anything. I just kind of want to give the plot to it. So throughout the rest of the movie, it's uh, pretty much a, a fight for survival and trying to get to the safety zone where the army has uh, for them to get out. Let me just say, this movie, the ending, the last 10 minutes of the movie, is something I've never seen before, to tell you the truth, and I'm not going to say anything, but I don't remember seeing a movie like this. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Usually, you know, like I said, when I do my horror movie reviews and all this stuff, I kind of try to pick out certain things and try to pick out, okay, this is what's going to happen, this is what's going to happen. Let's just say the end of the movie had me completely backward, like, I don't know. It, I, I'll leave it at that. I've never seen a movie like this, the, the ending before. You know, I thought it was really cool. Usually I'm not into, you know, action movies and all this stuff, but it kept me, you know, my mind into it. Again, it was a pretty cool thing where, you know, Texas just decides to come. Well, it's not only Texas, but, um, you know, there's different states that decided to come together. It was more of a militia, not the entire state or whatever, but a militia, a group of people from each state, they decided to come and, you know, try to take over New York, which probably wasn't the smartest idea because, you know, New York is New York, and people aren't going to go so easily, so I don't know why they chose that to begin with, but anyway, it was pretty cool, like a modern day kind of like Civil War kind of deal, you know, us against us kind of deal, but I must say, very impressed by this movie, um, I didn't really have much of a plate for Dave Batista, you know, old WWE wrestler. The only thing you had to really go by is, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, which he was pretty good, but he played a, like a different role. It wasn't like a serious role per se. This one, he played more of a, you know, serious role. He played a ex-Marine and 
pretty much, you know, it's now him trying to not only survive for him, but survive for Brittany Snow and trying to help her character or whatever. And like I said, it's far from pitch perfect for Brittany Snow in this one. You know, she's cursing up a storm and, uh, you know, t taking action and calling guns and shooting guns and whatever. But I must say, I was very impressed with this movie. I saw a trailer for it and I was like, you know what? Like I said, I'm not the biggest action movie guy but this one definitely held its own and i definitely did enjoy it so i'll leave the link for everything i'll leave the link for the trailer in the description i'll leave the link for uh where you can purchase it again i believe it should be everywhere that you know most movies are sold but again i'll leave the link to everything um that I talk about in this. Also in the description, check out all my other social medias. I got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me. I got a Facebook fan page. I got a Twitter. I got a Horror Amino. I got uh, a Stardust app that I just started where it's like 3 to 30 second reviews of, tra of movie trailers, movies, or TV shows. And I got my Snapchat back. So check out all this stuff in the description that I'm talking about. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for all my other reviews and my 31 days half October series and just you know some unboxing and stuff that I put on this channel I do more indie movie reviews so you'll probably see a lot more movies you never heard of before and if you want to know when I do upload them hit that little bell button so then you can be updated when I do post my stuff so uh, yeah like I said check out Bushwick it does come out tomorrow also check the description for the trailer and where you can purchase it and uh yeah hopefully you enjoyed this review it kind of pushed you towards it again thank you rlj entertainment and until next time i'll see you guys